My name is Jean Bobish from A Stroke of Genius and today I'm going to teach you how to take this how to create this beautiful little metal tray. Um, we're going to take a recycled metal tray from the thrift store, some collage paper or you could use scrapbook paper whatever you prefer and some little metal butterfly emb embellishments or whatever happens to go with your scrapbook paper and some string pearls. Now the fun thing about this project is we're going to use the new DecoArt chalky paints and this color happens to be Whisper and we're going to use the cream wax to finish it and we're also going to use some of the heirloom to antique it. So this is really quick and fun. It makes a beautiful little gift, a decorative plate. You could hang this on the wall, you could set it on your dresser, you could put it in a bathroom or a powder room. Look how pretty that would be. Um, so okay, let's get started. Okay, um, to start this project, we're going to use a metal tray that I found at a thrift store. Um, I had spray painted this with uh, metal primer at one time and it's been in my stash for so long it has some scratches on it but I'm not really concerned about that right now. What I want to do it, with this is I want to use the new DecoArt chalky paint and we're going to use the color Whisper. Then I'm thinking about putting, um, decoupaging some of this paper in the center of it, maybe placing a floral stamp to one side, and then I found these cute little butterfly charms um, that I might glue on the side as a little embellishment. So that's my thought process and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing we want to do is get our chalky paint and our brush and we're going to give this a good even coat of the paint. Both sides. Let's see if I can get you in closer here. We're going to do the whole plate, front and back. Make sure you get in all these little nooks and crannies on the trim. Of course, your plate might be different. Different shape. These, <laughs> these are always at the thrift store. I pick them up all the time. So they're always available. So go ahead and give yours a good couple coats. Let it dry well in between coats. And then we'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I've given our piece two coats of paint, front and back. Isn't it pretty? Oh, this paint is just fabulous. Now I'm not too concerned about the center section, but I wanted to make sure that my outside edge was nicely coated, which it is. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our butterfly paper, and I kind of like this butterfly area sits perfectly in our little tray. Now the problem is, how am I going to cut it out? So what I'm doing I'm kind of putting it down in here and burnishing it with my finger to get the outline of the tray and the size that I want. Okay, so that should be pretty discernible. Next, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to carefully cut around this crease that I made. All the way around. I'm getting a shadow here from my light. So I'm 
hope I'm not hitting the line. And I think this colors on this paper will look really nice with our background chalk paint. So let me see how close I got here. Set this aside. Okay, and that looks pretty darn good. I'm going to have to do a little more trimming, but look how pretty, oh my, look how pretty that looks. Wow, I'm loving it. So, okay, I'm going to go get my decoupage medium, and I'm going to trim this up perfectly, and then um, I'll be back for the next step. Okay, we're going to take our decoupage, and you want the matte. Because this is so matte, you don't want this to be glossy. So, Oh my goodness, if I can get it open. There we go. We take our brush and we're just going to place a nice even coat on the flat part of your tray. And you want to make sure you get it. Let's get you in here closer. want to make sure you get it right up to that edge. We don't want any of our paper not being stuck down. So we go right up here to the edge. Give it a nice, even, liberal coat. You don't want to be stingy, but you don't want to, don't want to get too much on here either. So let's that on there. There we go. Make sure you got the whole flat part of the tray covered. Okay, and then we're going to take our paper, put it in place, get it centered right where you want it, and then take your finger and rub it down so you get it really flat and no bubbles. We want no air bubbles in there. We don't want any wrinkles. Oh my, look how pretty that is. Just beautiful. I just love this paint. And the paper just goes so perfectly with it. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Just keep rubbing if you see any bubbles or wrinkles. And then we're going to give it a top coat just on the paper with the, oops, with the decoupage again. Okay. And that'll seal it on there really well. Okay, just give it a nice like I said, a nice, even coat. Don't forget to get your edges. Now this is a great, great, quick little project. Make a wonderful gift for someone. Um, put it on your dresser to hold your rings or couple little bottles of perfume or just set it out on a coffee table it's just or you can even just put it in a, a little plate stand or an easel on a side table you could glue some ribbon to the back and hang it on the wall be very very versatile piece so again just let this dry and we'll come back Okay, to embellish our little plate, I thought it would be really cute to have these metal butterflies kind of hanging off or attached here on the rim of the plate. Now, when I have this little trinket box, and I collect all kind of little 
things that I think would be neat to use in my artwork. And there's different keys, there's some charms, there's all kind of things. Some metal stickers, uh, buttons, um, just all kind of stuff. And I keep them in this little box for just an occasion like this. And I happened to come across these butterflies. Um, I believe I got them at Walmart. They're just charms, okay? And they come in silver and gold. And for this project, I'm going to use the silver ones. And I want to use, oops, I want to use um, luminous gold metallic. So I want to change their color a little bit. Now the large butterfly is three-dimensional, and it's in two pieces. Let me see if I can get you in here. And it's just held together by this little piece of wire, so I'm going to try and pull that apart so that we can... Oops, where'd you go? Okay, there's the one piece. And here's the other piece. And I'm going to save that wire because I might use it later. And then, of course, here's the little teeny weeny butterfly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint adhesion medium. That's also by Decor. And I'm going to put, of course, I got a new bottle. Let me get an open bottle. Okay, put some of it out on my palette, and I'm going to take a cosmetic sponge. You can use a, use a daub or whatever you want, and I'm going to pounce in my medium, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to pounce on my butterfly. Now this is a little messy and tricky, but I think it will help the paint stick better and I think this color will be beautiful because it's kind of the color of some of the lettering on the on the paper we're using. Now of course if you have different paper, you know, you could use a different a different paper or a different color for your color scheme. Um, you know, you don't have to use what I'm using. Use whatever works for you and um, personalize it however you want. This is just an example of a really fun and quick project that I think you'll enjoy doing. Whoops! Now I'm going to let these dry and I'll probably give them another coat. I'm going to do the fronts and the backs because of this piece here that's kind of curved and raised. I want to make sure I get the paint on all sides. Okay, while I was waiting for my while I am waiting for my butterflies to um, dry with the paint adhesion medium, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my edge. So I took some of the Deco Art Luminous Gold and put it on my palette and I'm just dabbing my little cosmetic sponge in there and I just want to very carefully go along and do the outside edge. Let me see if I can get you in closer here. I have to move some stuff around. Okay, the outside edge. of my tray. I'm losing it here. Here we go. Just kind of very carefully ex oops, stay behind that line. And then I just want to lightly, while it's still wet, wipe it with a paper towel and that sinks down into those grooves. And kinds of kinds kind of gives it a nice frame effect. So I'm going to go around and do that again. I'm 
trying to work it down into the where are you? I'm losing you here. Okay. Work it down into the the low spots as best you can. We'll kind of give it a little bit of an antique look. Okay? And we're gonna do that all the way around. The entire edge. And don't worry about get it on there too thick, it's probably better to put it on thick because then when you wipe it off, it'll leave it down in those creases here well. And this will just add just a pretty little border sheen around the outside of our, our piece. Okay, so just continue around. You can see the difference from over here compared to over here. So it just, just adds a little something. Okay, there we go. I've got it all the way around. And isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it just frames it beautifully. And the one thing I want to point out is you want to make sure that you don't get any... Um, anywhere else on your plate. You don't want a shiny spot sticking out somewhere. So you want to make sure you keep your fingers and your dauber out of your chalky paint area. <clears throat> so I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make more of a mess. And we're going to take the same paint, the same color, and we're going to paint our little metal embellishments. Okay, there's one. Now you can see the difference in the color. How much prettier it is with the metallic. Put some more on my palette. And continue sponging. They're kind of open and airy, so it's kind of hard to kind of hard to work with, but I just let them dry. Okay, now that my plate has dried, we're gonna take some of the DecoArt cream wax. I put the lid on, I can show you. Cream wax and open my jar. And I'm going to take this shop towel and I'm going to dip it in the wax just a little bit and I'm going to come over to my surface and I'm going to wipe it on make sure I'm getting it in all the little nooks and crannies it's a nice even coat they make a brush to apply this with also but I don't happen to have one so um, it's called a waxing brush. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on both the top and the bottom and let it dry. I want to get my fingers in the wet parts. There we go. Okay, get a nice even coat. Work it into the grooves. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer and then they tell you to buff it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to let this dry and do the back. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm going to take a dry part of my paper towel. And I'm just going to come in here and buff it nicely. Evenly. And it, oh, it gives it a nice smooth finish. Do the back side and then we'll be back. Okay, now I want to kind of give it a little 
antique look. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this um, heirloom color and I'm going to mix it on my palette with some of the clear cream wax. I don't want to get Maybe I'll use a different knife to get some of this out. Put some of this wax on my palette. And I don't want my antiquing to be too, too dark. That's why I chose not to use the, um, the golden brown wax. I think that would have been a little bit too dark for my piece. But we'll see how this goes. I'm going to just add a little tiny bit and look how far that goes geez just that little tiny bit really really tinted that big time now I'm going to take a clean paper towel so you can see if this is going to be a winner or a loser. So I'm going to get some on my paper towel and I'm going to rub it like down in the crease and over the paper to darken this up a little bit. Put some up on here. Yeah, I think I'm liking that very much. It's just enough to give it that little antique look without um, making it too, too dark. So I'm going to continue to put this around and I'm going to just rub it over my paper. And then let it dry. I'm going to get some more in the creases. Okay, and you can put as much or as little as you want, but I think that's a nice, a nice look. Okay, here it is dry, and oh my goodness, I really love the look. It really aged it without darkening it too much. I don't know how much of it you can see, but or you can see where it's down darker in the creases. And see over here. Just oh it looks super. So now I'm gonna take a clean dry paper towel and I'm gonna buff it. And Beautiful. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take my little butterflies. I'm going to turn this back around so I can see what I'm doing. And this double butterfly, remember, had a wire through it to hold it together. But I'm going to try and hope that my glue will hold it in place. And what I'm thinking is putting it, the, the larger one here, in this corner, and maybe the little one down here, like so, to offset. So I'm going to take my glue. And I love how these are hanging over the edge. I think it just really adds adds a lot. Now I could use hot glue, but hot glue I don't have much luck with with metal. So I'm going to stick to my um, tacky glue. I pretty much use this for everything. I'm going to put some more glue here, and then I'll glue the top piece on. And then I'm just going to have to let those set until they dry. 
press them together and then put my other little butterfly right here they should hold a little better oops once I get them on there there we go okay and we're gonna do one last thing I think to this plate and that will finish it off beautifully I have these string string of seed pearls um, they're four 0.57 meters there's five yards in here it comes in a package like this and what I'm thinking is gluing them down around the inside edge of the plate which is going to be fun this edge is curled so I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to maybe connect them underneath my butterfly so I'm going to just stick a bead of glue in this rim area where the the side meets the bottom of the plate and I'm going to press my pearls in there and let them dry and if you happen to not get your paint absolutely I mean your paper absolutely per cut perfect or you have a rough edge this is a perfect way of covering that up so it doesn't show now this is going to take a few minutes you're going to have to have some patience because it's pretty messy so i'm going to i'm going to do this and then i'll come back when i have it all finished okay i have everything glued on and there we have it beautiful little decorative tray plate um, from a recycled thrift store find. I hope you enjoyed this product project and that it inspired you to do some creating of your own. Thank you.